In Rensselaer County, two men are dead tonight after an apparent murder-suicide that happened today in the Ham Street Park section of Scattercoke. As Brandon Lewis explains, police believe that it started over a woman and then took a turn for the worst. Police were called to this home along Hudson Avenue Sunday morning. Investigators believe Joe Fisher came here and found his estranged wife with her new boyfriend, Chris Camuso. The three argued and the two men went separate ways, only to return around the same time. Camuso's family says he went to get his older brother to defend against Fisher if he came back. Unfortunately, when Fisher returned, he didn't come empty-handed. As Mr. Fisher responded to the residents, it's reported that he did so in possession of a weapon. That's when police believe Fisher shot Camuso in the driveway of the home. Fisher then forced his way into a family member's home next door, where his wife and two children had sought refuge and shot himself. Suffice it to say that the children, as I understand, were on scene and uh, likely uh, were observant to or, or uh, was privy to uh, an incident whereby which wouldn't be conducive or helpful to any child. Police say the couple had been married for 13 years, but only recently have problems. Earlier this month, police were called for a domestic dispute between the Fishers, but no arrests were made. Also under investigation is the weapon used in the murder-suicide. Fisher used an AR-15 rifle. It's a semi-automatic weapon that the state banned parts of in 1994. At this juncture, it's far too early uh, to tell as far as the history of the weapon. Uh, there may be con some concern with regard to whether it's pre-ban or post-ban. Uh, anything I would put out right now would be speculation. While investigators continue to look into the history of the weapon, the two children and their mother remain shaken just ahead of the holidays. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.